Catcher materials are sought after items required for upgrading gear in Flife Universe. But what are all the ways a player can collect materials? Hey everyone, I'm Bluki and today we'll be taking a look at where to find catcher materials and how to efficiently gather them. Roaming around Madrigal are four mysterious creatures that provide special minerals used by our heroes to strengthen their armaments. Each of these creatures, known as Catchers, produce a unique mineral used for different armor and weapon upgrades. The Catchers all maintain power over different domains of Madrigal, making homes in each of the four known continents. Finding these titans takes a keen eye and a quick fist, as once these giants are defeated, they take a while to regenerate. It is important to note that Catchers are gentle creatures, and they will never attack a player who seeks out the Catcher's minerals. Perhaps the gods created the catchers to give heroes a way to unlock power even if the gods one day disappeared. Let's review where players can find each of the catchers. The first catcher most players will meet roams the continent of Flaris. Aeron's catchers watch over the paths of Flaris with their large, single red eye, lumbering around a step at a time. Aaron's may be found walking up the main path from Flareen to the first Flaris load light, and splashing below the middle of the Laren Mountains near the Dori Doma. Focus on these two spots to meet an Aaron face to face, but keep your eyes open in other places around Flaris for the Blue Giants as well. Upon journeying to Saint Morning, players start seeing the second catcher giant, Krasix. Krasix crawl on their large, rectangular frame, reaching to the sky with their jewel-adorned appendages. Players who wish to meet the Krasik may do so just outside of the Saint Morning Arena near the Wagzak Masker Pets. Krasiks may show themselves elsewhere, but this spot in Saint Morning will give players a good starting point to greet the jeweled quadrupus. As players gain renown for Madrigal's residents, they will be tasked with visiting the overcast island known as the Garden of Rhesus. Hiding among the rain and lightning that crash down on the morose garden are the Mine Catchers, whose tree-like appearance make them blend into the green darkness. The shy Mine Catchers are found among the ruins and gravestones near the Tombstone Bearers. A discerning eye will pick these giants out from among the moss and trees. Seasoned players who reach the higher ranks of heroes in Madrigal spend their time in Dark on One, where dangerous animals and machines tear through the land. Among the oil slicks left behind by the living machines of Dark on are the Guru Catchers. Gurus slide around the dirty mess of Dark on One, appearing as gigantic blobs of dirt and metallic debris. For those who pursue a forum with a Guru Titan, Head nearby the Steamwalkers, whose exhaust and pollution attract the presence of the Catchers. The most experienced players find themselves deep in the heart of Darkon 3, among jungles, deserts, volcanoes, and marshland. The Catchers found in Darkon 3 are as diverse as the types of environments that make up the landmass. Darkon 3 differs from other regions by being the sole area where all Catcher monsters can be found. Perhaps the same power that makes Darkon 3's Masker Pet so dangerous also attracts the pacifist giants. Aeron, Krasik, Mine, and Guru Catchers may all be found silently traversing Darkon 3, sometimes in large groups among one another. Especially potent locations that attract Catchers include the tall trees near Watanga Masker Pets and in the fiery valleys near where Luia roam. Because Darkon 3 houses the most dangerous Masker Pets known to Madrigal, the catchers there may be less contested than those from other regions. The journey to reach Darkon 3 may take a while, but the rewards for heroes dedicated to the journey will bear the coveted fruit known as Catcher Materials. Obtaining the rare visit from a catcher along a player's journey is only half the battle to obtain the power source each catcher holds inside. In order to obtain the minerals from a catcher, players must be equipped with a special device known as a collector weapon. These technological devices have the ability to extract power from catchers, turning that power into the physical manifestation of minerals. Players may purchase a collector from the general store of each major city, but upon arriving at the shop, 
Players may find that there are several options when choosing the collector right for them. The general store stocks four unique collector weapons for players to choose from. As the price of the weapons increase, so do the quality of the collectors. The more expensive the collector, the more minerals that can be extracted by the player after defeating a catcher. All collector weapons have a level requirement of 15, meaning players will need to at least make it to their first job change before they begin collecting minerals. Players just starting out on their journey will likely choose the cheapest collector option to tide them over until they obtain more disposable pena. The cheapest collector weapon is aptly named just Collector, and when used on a defeated catcher monster, grants players 40 minerals. The Collector costs only 50,000 pena, enough for most players to save up and grab right after completing their first job change quest. The V3 Collector takes the spot as the next step up in the line of available Collector weapons. Twice the cost of the Collector, players can spend 100,000 pena to purchase the V3 Collector. The V3 Collector allows a player to mine 50 minerals per catcher monster. Our next Collector, the Power Collector, is the first major jump in cost for players. At 750,000 pena, most players will need to spend a significant amount of time saving up to grab this powerful tool. Players who can afford the Power Collector will be rewarded with another bump up to 66 minerals able to be collected from catchers. Shining high above the rest in both cost and capability flies the Ultra Collector. The ultimate machine in collecting minerals, the Ultra Collector costs a whopping 5 million pena, but allows players to collect an astonishing 101 minerals per catcher. While the cost may seem off-putting for some, players can strategically save up pena required for the Ultra Collector by selling the minerals they receive using the lower collector weapons. Because minerals are a core part of the upgrade system, they will always be in demand and can be used as a consistent way to generate income. To speed up the process of collecting minerals, players may also choose to upgrade their collector weapon. Unlike most other gear upgrade options, Collectors are upgraded directly in a player's inventory with either Paradise 8s or Paradise 10. Collector weapons will never break if an upgrade fails and can only be upgraded to a maximum of plus 5. To upgrade a collector, players can click the dice they wish to use in their inventory, then click the weapon. How much time can players save by upgrading their collector, and do the benefits feel valuable compared to the cost of the power dice spent? Let's examine exactly what the different collector upgrade levels do. A collector weapon freshly bought from the vendor takes around 100 seconds to fully collect the minerals inside a catcher monster. Each additional upgrade level reduces the collecting time by a small amount. At plus 1, a collector can fully absorb a catcher in 80 seconds. Plus 2 can collect the available minerals in 60 seconds. Plus 3 does so in 40 seconds. Plus 4 collects in 30 seconds. It is currently unknown what speed plus 5 collectors are intended to suck up a catcher at, but at the moment maxed out collectors also collect in 30 seconds, like plus 4 collectors. For this reason, I recommend stopping upgrades at plus 4 for now. If plus 5 collectors are changed in the future, I'll make an update in the description of this video. The success rates for upgrading a collector weapon are unclear, but in my testing it could take players up to 40 or more power dice 8 to fully upgrade a collector to plus 5. While the cost to upgrade seems relatively steep, players can upgrade slowly over time, and gain the benefits of faster collecting to increase their income from selling minerals. For locations like Flaris, where Aeron catchers are often defeated only moments after they appear, faster collecting may not feel entirely worth the cost. However, if players plan to collect from catchers while they level, or farm minerals in catcher-dense locations like Darkon 3, the extra speed could provide a lot of value by giving back time to the player to grind experience or grab another catcher monster before others snatch it up. Once players have successfully collected the minerals provided by catcher monsters, what can they do with these mysterious minerals? Players will use materials from catchers to upgrade their equipment and add elemental bonuses to their weapons or suits. When upgrading weapons, armor, or shields, players require the mineral and aeron materials. 
Krasik and Guru materials are used to upgrade the elemental damage bonus on weapons and elemental defense on suits of armor. The cycle of leveling and obtaining new gear continues throughout a player's journey, and as a part of that experience, players will need to seek out the mysterious catchers. For those looking for a strategy to generate income, farming catcher materials can produce a booming business for enterprising players. Catchers offer a new activity for players to participate in and creates new interactions in the Flife economy. Thank you to everyone watching this far. Hunting down catchers has been a lot of fun for me, and I hope that today's video can help you make the best of the collecting system. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe so I know you're enjoying the content. Leave a comment below with other Flife topics you want to hear about, and it might just become a future video.